a hard-nosed, playmaking guard and defensive specialist. It would be hard to find a basketball personality who achieved more as a player and a coach than K.C. Jones. What he gave his teams on the court did not always show up on the stat sheet, but certainly translated into championships. Jones enjoyed a phenomenal collegiate career playing with fellow Hall of Famer Bill Russell under Hall of Fame coach Phil Wolpert at the University of San Francisco. With the ball hawking guard, the Dons won 57 of 58 games and captured back-to-back -back NCAA titles in 1955 and 1956. In 1956 Jones played on the U.S. Olympic gold medal team and then, soon after, joined the Boston Celtics where he was reunited with Russell. Dressed in green and white, Jones played admirably on eight consecutive NBA championship teams, making a huge impact as a scrapping, hustling player. Jones coached Boston to the 1984 and 1986 NBA championships, and earned 12 NBA championship rings in his distinguished career. Jones and Russell led Team USA to the 1956 Olympic gold medal. In the final game the United States defeated the Soviet Union 89-55, giving them a perfect 8-0 record through the competition. All of the players who have won eight or more championships were part of that Celtics dynasty. They include Bill Russell, 11 championships, Sam Jones, 10, John Havlicek, 8, Tom Heinsohn, 8, and Tom, Satch, Sanders. When Casey arrived in Boston to begin his rookie season in 1958, he found that only a limited amount of playing time was available to him. That was due to the fact that the Celtics already had two perennial All-Stars playing at the guard positions, Bob Cousy and Bill Sharman. During his career, Jones averaged 7.4 points, 4.3 assists, and 3.5 rebounds per game during only 25.9 minutes per game on the floor. After being elected to the Hall of Fame, Casey said, This is the sort of thing that happens to superstars, not people who can't shoot. I just did the blue-collar type things. Lenny Wilkins disagreed, saying, KC was a fine player. When he played you on defense, it was like wearing a glove. The Celtics retired Jones' number 25 jersey on February 12, 1967.